Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. Our last quarter moon hits on Saturday, January 14th, so you got to go out in the morning sky to see that. Sun is still very active in the southern hemisphere this week, so lots of fun sunspots and aurora. Uh, looking at the hydrology of the state, it is an amazing story. So we had drought free up through here, uh, moderate, abnormally dry and moderate drought out here, severe drought further out, and a lot of the drought conditions have gone away, including the headwaters of the Colorado. So excellent news there. Nationwide, same thing. We see a lot of decreasing drought in the west, and we'll so see the end of the video today. We should see a lot of this just totally vanish out west. You know, the plains just do remain dry, but they're the only ones. Let's take a look at the snowpack as we go along each time. We're a little bit below, a little bit above, week by week. And then we've got our first and second big storms. So I think that's it. Yep, that was it. Let me go back. Uh, so we are now at 125% snowpack and doing very well. Let's keep it up. Moisture has been fantastic over the last seven days. Again, almost everything on the western slopes, I-25 in the southeast plains kind of dry. For severe weather over the next few days, uh, there is a system moving through the southeast and then off the coast, nothing out west. Looking at uh, Wednesday's storm, we have a very weak storm along I-25 with some more precipitation out in the northeast plains and tons in the mountains, many, many inches. That clears out completely by Thursday, and we're still dry by Friday. No smoke to speak of except from Florida and northern Mexico. A normal high temperatures level at 44. Our normal low drops a degree. We just kind of these bump around a little bit January, February before they start to really climb. Here's our Wednesday showers, and then some unsettled and cooler weather. Uh, kind of in the mid and later part of the week, but nothing big and organized at this point. Uh, so here's the Tuesday satellite uh, image with, this is water vapor satellite with the approaching system, and then this is it passing on Wednesday, making some light sh snow showers. I didn't make a big deal about this because it really pretty much all melted uh, or coated some grass or old snow, but it was, it was minor. Uh, Saturday we have a gigantic ridge right over us taking us up close to the 60s for so we should see some good melt from that But then by Sunday night a general troughiness comes in and a ripple goes by more to our south So the precipitation is kind of south and southwest of us and west If that changes we could get a little bit more on Sunday night So let's put this in motion. This is the Wednesday storm heading off. Here comes the weekend ridge from Friday into Saturday. The next trough, it kind of goes up the slope of the ridge until this one cuts in on Monday, Sunday night, Monday. And then there's something big here for on Tuesday as it approaches, again, pretty far to the south of us. Here's Wednesday next week when the next video comes out. We got a general trough in the west cooling us down with another system that looks like it rolls right through the four corners. As for temperatures, we remain above normal for most of this time period. In fact, a lot of the nation does. There's a little coolness coming down here, but this is quite a deal above normal in the reds and pinks. Going into the weekend, there's our really warm Saturday and Sunday. Another Pacific system comes in and kind of cools things on Sunday, Monday, but really not on the eastern side of the Rockies. There's that next system coming in Wednesday into the west. Uh, but by the time it gets here, it really doesn't cross the mountains much. We're down to about normal rather than cold. So precipitation, there goes the Wednesday storm out and away. And we're high and dry for the weekend. Looking at Saturday into Sunday, there's the next system coming and it tries to get going. The low goes right through the Oklahoma Panhandle and lifts away. And Northeast Plains kind of get skipped. There's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. There's a system that crashes against the mountains. And then finally, Thursday into Friday, something comes in that might actually put some snow on the plains by the end of next week. But that's so far out that that could be a fantasy. These, the long range does not look great on these models. Whole storms 
become the point exactly between two storms uh, by the time you get there. So the next five days, very light precipitation along the I-25 corridor, more water for the mountains, snow very light again here, but some in the mountains up to eight, 12 inches in spots, favored spots, more, a lot more moisture in the western slopes, and finally a little bit on the uh, I-25 corridor for the next 10 days, but it's not much, and that's the snow, so talking less than two inches over 10 days. Northeast Plains get a little bit of a hit and the mountains just get clobbered with up to two feet of snow. So we rise quickly through the, up to the 50s by the end of the week, 60s for Saturday, just about, and settle into the 40s at the beginning of next week with a little chance of that shower later then. <coughs> I'm gonna end with a look at this California rain, actually the whole West Coast rainfall. This is the last 30 days of rain and you see the pinks and purples here are six to 10 inches and the white is 20 inches or more of water. It's not snow, that's water. If we look at the next about 17 days, the yellows there are up in the 12 to 24 inches of water. So again, drought, goodbye. Um, you're gonna see a lot of flooding and ongoing flooding and, and some difficulties with all that. For frequent weather updates and local news, Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader, found over there in the typewritten form. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.